Welcome to Quranic Lecture 68. The title of this lecture is Makkah Holy Qibla versus Quranic Qibla. So on this subject I have made three lectures, part one, part two and part three. So today we will discuss the first one. According to Islamic priesthood, Qibla is the fixed direction towards the Kaaba or Masjid al-Aram or Grand Mosque. So these three names, our priesthood, with the collaboration of royal family, they have given this Qibla. In Makkah, Saudi Arabia, so all the Muslims, they consider that our Qibla is in Saudi Arabia, Mecca, the cubic building. And this is a form of government. They are calling themselves the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. So it has, and there is no concept in the Quran or any system in the Quran which is give the authority of any kingdomship or priesthood or any reality. So it is the direction which all Muslims face when performed, performing their prayers from all over the world. It is also mentioned in Islamic literature that Muhammad followers in Medina before revolution used to face Jerusalem for their prayer. So this is a Hadith and Fiqh literature that before you know, selecting Kaaba as a Qibla. So they were praying facing the Jerusalem, Masjid Aqsa. It is written in their literature. But now, the Daniel Gibson is a self styled publisher, Canadian author, has claimed that earlier mosques were oriented towards Petra rather than towards Mecca or Jerusalem. So he, his research or he proved that Muslims, they don't have any Mecca and Jerusalem, their Qibla, but it was Petra which is in Jordan. So this archaeologist Dan Gibson has recently claimed that instead of Mecca, the cradle of Islam is in Petra. So Muslim, he is informing all the Muslim that instead of Mecca or Jerusalem, your Qibla is Petra, which is in Jordan. He tried to prove that all the prayers of Muslims are invalid and entire Islamic history in, is untrue. He proved this, what he said. If Gibson is a correct, his claim is correct, then all the most Muslims are committing unforgivable crime against Allah and Muhammad from century because they are rebellious from their real center Petra, what he is saying. It is true then all Muslims will fall under the category of below kind of serious criminal offense in accordance with their religious beliefs. So they are Mushrikeen, rebellious in the sight of their religious belief because instead of praying in the right direction, they are praying or facing a wrong direction during their prayers. So all your prayers from the 14th century till now, so they are all invalid. Because the, what Gibson is saying, the right Qibla is Petra. All their prayers are invalid. According to their beliefs, they will throw down in the burning hell of the fire because of the sin. As per their Islam, they will not be given dark-eyed seventy virgin hoos because of this unforgivable crime. 
Moreover, they have wasted billions of gallons of sweet water from the centuries of the ritual of Vadu. Non-Quranic term. In Quran, there is no word of, or, you know, this term Vadu. Despite the first Despite the fact there is a acute shortage of the water all over the world, especially in Africa and other poor countries, there is acute shortage. Being a water treatment engineer, it's a crime to waste this water, billions of gallons of water for washing their, you know, during the wudu. So they have also wasted billions of dollars in constructing innumerable mosques pointing their Qibla toward Petra. It is intolerable sin. So all the direction of their mosques, thousands of mosques, so their direction is wrong. But Gibson is saying, these mosques are used for two or three hours only for worshipping purpose. Only two, three, then they close it. Not directed by the Quran. Quran does not accept any worshipping. The rest of the time, these mosques remain vacant during day and as well as night. According to the Quran, all present mosques are the refuge of the religious parasite people. I have already discussed one lecture about the mosque, in, in which I have given all the detail. But here, I will give you only this short thing that mosque is not a place of worshipping according to the Quran. And mosque does not mean a building of concrete and iron. Quran does not accept it. And these mosques are living cemeteries for Muslims. They have They have killed the whole Muslim Ummah intelligently, intellectual basis, wisdom basis. Why? Because they don't allow to make any question. Just pray and go, or listen to their khutbah and go. No, no question. So therefore, Muslims should use these mosques for the following beneficial purpose of the community. Convert them into the shelter homes for homeless people. In all poor countries they should do it. Or switch over them into Quranic research center or Qibla to bring out the Muslim from the darkness or the ignorance of the uh, worshipping ritual. So this is a, I'm giving a suggestion because it is all parasitic, dens of parasite, you know. And from the centuries, they are not giving you any intelligent things. They are producing you dim-witted religious young generation, which is useless. After the release of Daniel Gibson documentary, there was an uproar from parasitic religious leader and all set. They were sacred that their documentary is a serious threat to their holy business franchises. They, they are all franchises. Therefore, all these angelic looking ayatollah, a dim-witted Maulana of Shia or Sunni or Wahhabi or Dhobandi religious leader or scholar with long dyed bearded wearing Sindhi or Balochi stylish caps, dressed in a flowing green or brown or black robes with ceremonial turbines, turbans like Saudi type headgear, white or red in colors, appeared in different electronic and social media and delivered all kinds of religious hello bello to defend their luxurious parasitic business. Time-wasting ritual, useless custom, and energy-deteriorating ceremony. So there was a, you know, 
big hero. And have, because it is their business. So this research of, you know, this Canadian oncologist, it put their existence in danger. So let me give you the, you know, Quranic concept of Qibla. The Quran blast of Daniel Gibson as well as as a self-styled Islamic archaeologist and as well as dim-witted religious Islamic scholar by declaring that neither Holy Mecca nor Jerusalem, first Qibla are the Qibla of the Muslim or Islam. The Quran totally disagree with that. It is the Qibla of ignorant Muslim herd of sheep. <coughs> The present Saudi kingdom ship is, a, is against the Quranic principle. It is their holy and luxurious business. <clears throat> and they are minting billions of dollars by using holiness of the cubic building, cube building to them. They have used sacredness of this makab. So makab is an Arabic word. Cube is an English word or scare building to strengthen their authority and to prolong the ruling of their dynasty because their dynasty is continue is working because of this religion. They are very smart. <clears throat> they are making billions of dollars from the poor people. Ignorant people. Since in the Quran there is no order to offer any prayers, therefore there is no need of any Qibla in the form of Holy Makkah for Muslims. The Quran said. Because there is no worshipping of God, no five time prayer, no Hajj, no Umrah, what they are making, you know. So before proceed further, I want to give you the meaning of Qibla. What does the Qibla mean? So the term Qibla or Qiblatum, it, it signifies he took or received or admitted willingly with admiration. So this is the first Qibla. Anything you receive with willingly or with admiration, that is a Qibla. He faced him or opposed him or advanced toward him, Qibla. This term has been used in the meaning of the front of encounter before open to accept, to come to approach, direction, group, or faction or tribe. This is a Qibla. <clears throat> Kabai. The Quran has used this in the following shade. Verse 336, the word, the Kabbalah. The Kab La has been used in the connotation of the acceptance. But the Kabbalah Rabbawa Bekul Hasna. The word Wakbalat means he faced his party or group or a counter or face to face meeting. So according to the Quran, the term Qibla signifies central authority from which everyone take guidelines or keep in sight it. It's fact. Qibla is a symbol of state or constitution of the government and everyone recognizes arrogance to it. Let me clear it. More precisely, by giving example, American Constitution is the Qibla of this nation, and Washington House is a symbol of its authority, its symbol of harmony for all U.S. citizens all over the world, and they offer their elegance to this authority. So this is the Quran is saying, not Quran, that this is the Qibla mean, according to the Arabic lexicon, where you have your face, your attention, your direction.
Similarly, Saudi government, Saudi Arabia, Israel, and other countries have their Qiblaq in the form of their constitution, from where they receive the instruction. But Saudi Arabia has no constitution from the Quran. Nations all over the world like guidance from the Qibla to resolve their issues. Do you think Americans should make circulation or thwap around the Washington House or offer their prayer facing towards Washington House to solve their issues? Just imagine what we are doing. Similarly, the Quran is a Qibla or constitution or authority. So this is the meaning of Qibla. Your Qibla is this guideline book which gives you guideline. It's not a building. It's not a white time prayer. Or it's not a circulation. Or it's not a Sabha Marwa. It's not a kissing of this black stone. Your constitution, your Qibla is Quran. <clears throat> For the Muslim all over the world, But Muslim, instead of taking guidance from the center or Qibla of the Quran, they have abandoned the Quran completely and shaped cube building at Mecca in the form of holy gigantic order. It's a worshipping order. They are worshipping the building. The Muslims are wholeheartedly busy in worshipping the holy cube sculpture from centuries not new. The sacred icon of Holy Mecca was fashioned for them by Arab, pagan, Zoroastrian ideology, Hadith and literature, and biblical beliefs. So this building, or all the ritual of what we have a Qibla now, the this concrete building, it based on three civilization ritual. Zoroastrian, Arab pagan, and biblical. <clears throat> this is the only nation in this planet who have fashioned other numerous stones and mountains as the adoring idols. They are worshipping idols. They are worshipping Safa Marwa. They are worshipping in Muzalfa. They are worshipping Mina Hillock, they are worshipping Blackstone and they are saying, we are a unique nation. <clears throat> so this is, this is the only nation in this planet who have fashioned other numerous stones and mountain as their adorning idols like Blackstone Hillock of Safa Marwa, Arfat, Mazalfa, and Mina Hillock to quench their thirst of receiving object, revering object, you know. They want to worship everything. Moreover, they are wasting billions of dollars for the affectionate of these stone gods. Billions of dollars. Actually, the, all the profit going in the pocket of the Saudi royal family. Let me show you now. <clears throat> this is, look. So this is a Qibla they made. And it's like a, you know, galaxy their moon. Look the power. And if you compare this with this galaxy, so this galaxy, this nation is now circulating or winding like a galaxy in anti-cloud direction of the Quran. Their winding makes a big energy. But this energy, it is in anti-cloud direction. If they put this Quranic power or if they put the this Quranic education, instead of Hadith, Sunnah, Fiqh, 
tradition, Islamic history, biblical believers, pagan horror, custom and ritual, and VIP Haja Nura. If you take it out, so if you adopt the, if you educate the people with the Quranic laws, so this will be a clockwise, you know, powerful like a, this uh, galaxy. But now we are moving in an anti clock. It's our disaster. We are finished. The previous and the present Muslim dynasties and Muslim caliphs have replaced the original principle of the Quran and forged it into present living fossil kind of system under the name of Islam. It's all graveyard, it's all symmetry. They buried the Quranic principle under the tomb of Holy Makkah and covered it with black cloth, Kaswatul Kaaba. They said, you are dead now. And this is done by Zoroastrian. Now every year Muslims celebrate the death anniversary of the Quran by replacing the old black cloth with a new one along with the washing of this holy cubic building with tons of perfume of roses of flower. Just like when you join any burial funeral, you know, procession, so they are wearing all the black, black dress. Similarly, what the Zoroastrian did, they put the black color on the cubic building and they are showing that we have finished the Quran, the principle of the Quran, we buried under this black cloth, you know, Kaswatul Kaaba. Now every year Muslims celebrate the death anniversary of the Quran by replacing the old black cloth with the new one along with the washing of this holy cubic building with tons of perfume of roses and these the cost of the iron embroidery, or uh, sorry, the gold they put on this Kaswatul Kaaba, it cost is, or my, I think, 180 grams or 200 grams. They use every year this, you know, gold. At present, the ritual of Hajj and Umrah have been energized by the powerful and wealthy Saudi royal family along with their strong marketing channel like mosques, religious leaders and their approved agent. And one another marketing they are doing, oh look the miracle of Holy Kaaba. You watch the YouTube because it is done by the Saudi government or done by the religious, religious you know, priesthood because they make fool to the ignorant Muslim. Look, there was flood in the Kaaba and all of them, all the water has been absorbed in the earth. Alhamdulillah. Look, the miracle of the God, the miracle of the Kaaba. This is their doing. They are making a fool. So this wandering nation has been dislocated from centuries ago from the pivotal position of their Qibla Quran. So they have been shifted, dislocated from the, this our book, our Qibla, to this cubic building. We have been shifted from our key, key position of the Quran to this ritual. And now, the situation is, at present, Muslim nation has been completely submerged in the deep ocean of the religious darkness and ignorance. The existing situation is so grim and hopeless that if Muhammad come himself with the proof that Holy Makkah is not your Qibla, they shall not listen to him. And this is a verse. 2145. Go and check. 
ولئن آتیت الزین اوت الکتاب بکل آیات ما تابا قبل قبل تک ایون یو ور ٹو برنگ آل کائنڈ آف اتھارٹیز پروف ٹو دا پیپل آف دا بک دس دس اباؤٹ اس اینڈ دے پٹ دس پیپل آف بک کرسچن پیپل آف بک جو دس اور اسٹوری اور ٹریڈی they still would not accept your Qibla. Look, Tabbahu Qibla Tak, Al-Qitaab. So these three words. So if you will ask these billions of herd of sheep people that Muhammad never ever make this building in Qibla, his Qibla was Quran, they will, they will not accept. They will not accept. So this is, situation is so grim, so regretful. Nobody will listen to you. They don't listen to the Quran. Where is the Quran? The Quran neither, neither in the mosque, nor in the Kaaba, nor in the Makkah, nor in the holy shrines, and not in even the mosque, not in the madrasa. religious school, you know. So this is the meaning of Qibla, that if even you were to bring all kinds of authority, give them. The people of the Quran, if you give them all the proof that Qibla, your Qibla is not Makkah, your Qibla is not Bait al-Maqdis, your Qibla is not Petra, your Qibla is the Quran. They will not accept. Because then they could not bring their meter of sin to zero. This is a problem. And this, uh, this ideology or faith has been given by your priesthood. They still would not accept your Qibla. So now the Qibla means not a building of concrete or iron or any hill or any black stone. Your Qibla is the Quran. So in the next lecture, second part, I will bring all the verses which give the details. What was the Qibla of Moses? What was the Qibla of Ibrahim? So Quran give all the details. Thank you very much.